Got it. And I had one more question for Keegan. I just recently started using a thing called Easy IP, which uses uh, blockchain to just show first use. I've written two books, and yep. I used it to protect that up front so that people didn't start using my concepts and things. Is that something that's eventually leads to IP? How do you how do you feel about that as a tool to secure your uh, first use and all? Well, I think it's a it's a fantastic idea. I think it's a it's an easy entry point for yeah. folks. Um, yeah, I think Carrie's here somewhere. Where's Carrie? There he is. Yeah. <coughs> it's uh, yeah, the, the inventor is in the room of so. Easy IP, and yeah. uh, which we've actually helped patent uh, as well for <laughs> 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 and uh, successfully, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. All right. Great. And. Uh, um, but you know what it really does is provide a means of, of locking it in, saying that it's kind of it's almost like a trade secret where you're like it's digitizing this thing that I own at a certain point in time, so that because there's all these formalized rules about getting trademarks, about getting patents, about getting copyrights, that if you have this formalized, um, that it does help you in some ways to prevent others from being able to do that thing. There's it, it's not. Uh, um, there's other things that you can do if you have patents or you have trademarks that you can't do with the easy IP, but it, it's, this is a, it's a great entry point to be able to begin to protect the things that you have. Yeah, yep. yeah we you. have a ladder. I mean, you've seen it too, Steve, at the workshop. So we have the ladder that you have the easy, you have the smart contract because essentially <laughs> easy IP is a smart contract on the blockchain. You have a smart contract and that date stamps the, you know, uh, before you, you know, I think what uh, um, <clears throat> what Kerry would say, if you you created something new or you're showing it to a new audience, you would date stamp it today to show that somebody at the audience didn't didn't invent it, you know, because they're you're showing yes. them what you've done, yeah. so that they don't say, well, I invented this, because you'll have a date stamp before you do that. So I see that that's the first step, and that's, uh, you know, if you're doing it in volume, what is it, uh, Kerry? It can go down to 80 bucks. Down to 80 bucks for smart contract, okay. But if you just adopted a thought, you know, every time I'm creatively solving a problem for a client, okay, or a customer, or we're creating some unique process that does that, I should really record this and at least put it on a smart contract that I've done this. Yeah. And start getting in the habit of using the smart contract carries IP, easy IP, just to document your creativity, okay? And the moment you start recording it, you start taking it seriously.